Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to extend or expand your images using Generative Fill in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using Crop Tool, Inverting of Selection, Generative Fill, and Masking using Brush Tool. So let's get started! To expand an image, so the first step we're going to do here is we're going to unlock our background layer. So going on to the Layers panel, from this, you can see that this layer is locked. Okay, so I'm going to unlock this one. You just have to click that. There you go. Now it's gone. Okay, and then let's use the crop tool to expand the image. So going on to the toolbar, find a crop tool. It shows the symbol. Or you can just press C for the shortcut key. Now we may now start adjusting the image size. So I want to make this image look like a landscape. Okay, so it's something like that. All right, then hit enter. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to select the image. All right, so to do that, going on to the layers panel, press control, hold it, or you can press command, hold it, and then click on the thumbnail of that layer. There you are. So once I did that, you can see the selection is already around the image. Now, we're going to invert this one by pressing Control plus Shift plus I. Now the selection is inverted. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Now next part here is we're going to apply the amazing generative fill. Okay, so if you can find the contextual taskbar, something like that, you can go to the menu bar, go to window, then find on contextual taskbar. Now, we may now start applying this, okay? So with this selection, I'm going here, click on this generative fill, click that, and then I want to, I'm going to put here, expand background. There you go. Then, hit generate. Once done generating, now you can see the outcome on our image. All right, now that seems so amazing, it's so clear, it's so natural, it's so real, right? Okay. Now, and also, generative fill have different variations that you can use. So we'll just go here on this bar. All right, you can see these arrows here, right? So I'm going to click the first one. Okay, you, you can change that. This, all right, so I guess that's fine. Okay, there's a mountain. Over. At first, there's a mountain over here that I like. On the second one, it's gone. All right, so let's go to the other image. There you are. Oh, this one is so, so cool. It tried to extend the mountain. All right, so you can just choose whatever you like, or you can also do it like this. Go to the Properties panel, and then you can see there the different variations, okay? So for example, on this image, I want this area. I want the mountain on this part, but I don't like this one, okay? So I'm going to make use of this, for example. We're going to mix and blend this variation images. So to do that, click on the Expand Layer background, press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate layer of that. There you go. Then, on this top layer, I want to apply here the mountain. There you are. There you go. That's better. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the masking. So, click on the layer mask thumbnail of this layer on top. Then, press B for the brush tool. Change the foreground color to black. Let's go to default. Switch this one. That's white. There you are. It's set to black. Now, we may now start removing this area. To change it with the use of the other variation image there you are all right looking amazing okay so we already mix and blend those two variation that's how it goes so let me show you the before and after this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to expand or extend images using generative fill in photoshop 